Six of the stars and bars have endorsed the winning candidate for governor in every election since the Reconstruction. And I'm sure I don't need to remind you as president of the Daughters, I have a great influence over our entire membership. If you say so. Yes, well, my great, great, great grandfather, Colonel Franklin James Buford, fought side by side with General Lee in the Great Conflict. He gave his life in the defense of the Confederacy at Vicksburg. My condolences. Thank you. The daughters and I feel a strong connection with the antebellum South. As you may know, one of our pet causes is the restoration of the glorious Confederate flag to its place of honor atop the State House. <coughs> oh. Well, you're, you're preaching to the choir on that one. Every soldier deserves his bow. That's already part of my platform. And we would like to reopen the issue of secession. The federal government has shoved too many of its progressive ideas down our throats. And they have demonized the subject of slavery to such an extent that you can't even discuss the good things about it anymore. <coughs> you all right, Leanne? <coughs> oh, you're gonna have to excuse me. Oh, uh, Mrs. Gibbs, your Christian name is Leanne? Yes, ma'am, it oh! is. General Lee, then. No, I wasn't. Uh, you might have been. You might have been. You're, you're excused, darling. When you gotta go, you got to go. Oh, I just love any name with Lee in it. My great grandmother on my father's side had a wet nurse by the name of Leonora. Oh, she was colored, of course. But, oh, such a pretty name. Leonora. She was practically a member of the family. <laughs> uh oh. You're having another one of your spells again, aren't you? We gotta get you up to bed. Come on. Oh my, is she ill? No, I mean, I'm all right. Mrs. Lady, you got it all wrong about that girl named Leonora. Judge Gibbs. Yeah, snap out of it. Here goes Leonora be up here with us. And she said that Leonora wasn't just her old wet nurse. She wasn't? No, ma'am. Leonora was your great-grandma's mama. The, the daddy's a liar. Now, you take that bed. No, ma'am, them those are facts. I don't reckon you got them full lips from no piecing. <laughs> Okay, boys, let's go catch us some crawdads. Oh!
Honey muffin, is that you? <laughs> I tell you, I got a real good look at him, and it were a gator man what attacked that lady. A gator man? Uh-huh. Half gator, half man. Gator man my foot. I got a real good look at him, Sheriff Gary, and it was definitely a man gator. A man gator? Uh-huh. Man from the waist up, gator from the waist down. It were no man gator. We're two. We're not. We're two. We're not. We're two. Not two. Not two. 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 Hush up. Hush, boy. Hush up for a minute. <sighs> Sheriff Gary, you'll have to excuse Dirk and Bogart. Sometimes they stay up too late watching that satellite dish TV. Did you get a good look at uh, whatever it was? I sure did. And? Plain and simple. It was a Okeechobee Wolfman what attacked that poor woman. Just lucky for her we came by when we did, or she might have lost more than two fingers. Okay, boys, let's get back on out to the crime scene so we can put our noses to the ground and find us those missing digits. Inez, that's okay. That won't be necessary. No, no, no. It isn't all bald-headed. He's got fuzzy hair. I called over to the hospital, boss. She's in recovery, but she's still too sedated to talk. And the motel manager? Room was paid for in advance by the victim. Well, did he mention anything about dogs on the premises? No dogs on the premises. No pets allowed in the bungalows. And he didn't hear a thing. He did mention one thing, though. What's that? Something about a... Let me see if I get this right. Okeechobee Wolfman. Sheriff? Woo! That's him. Smells like dog. Wow. Who the hell are you? You got a lot of nerve, though, climbing into somebody's truck uninvited. I'll tell you that much. Okay. Say, what is it with you and younger women? I told you not to marry that girl. Didn't I tell you she was trouble? I love Leanne. There's nothing wrong with her that a little tune-up wouldn't fix. She believes she's possessed by the spirit of a Negro slave girl, Beg. That tune-up is gonna take a whole team of psychiatrists and a gallon of Thorazine. Don't hurl those damn clinical words at me. It's getting so that this discarnate entity of hers just pops up anywhere, anytime. Did you say her name was Wanda Grace? Yeah. Now, just the other night, me and Leanne are in bed. The joint is jumping, if you know what I mean. My eyes are closed. I'm on my final approach. And all of a sudden, I hear someone singing, Oh, Susanna, at the top of their lungs. I hit the brakes so hard, I almost started to skid. I'm just a small town pastor, big. Uh, uh, I preach to the faithful, uh, counsel the afflicted, uh, visit the sick, and I try to save up for my kids' college. Yeah, this sounds like it's a little out of my arena. Don't fool with me, buddy. This is of a quasi-spiritual nature and well within your arena. Now, we got to do something about this Wanda business before it costs me the governorship. Well, I guess I could come out to your place, talk to her, see if I could convince her to seek some professional help. 
That's my boy. Dinner in my place. I'll set it up. And I appreciate this. Enough that you'll put some in the donation box? Out of cash. <laughs> What is it with you, huh? What do you want from me? You know, they have anti-stalking laws in this state, and I am a lawyer, so just follow somebody else, why don't you, huh? All right. Lee just came back from the lab. <laughs> Actually, I know we don't have a lab, but I just always wanted to say that. Uh, Claire Joseph's over at the art college made that for us. I think she's still got the hots for me. Just what I thought, a damn dog. And then there's this one, too. you just did? Miss Baker? Dawson? Is that your dog? No, he just... I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's my dog. What's his name? What's his name? He's got a name, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, of course he's got a name. Um, it's Carl. His name is Carl. Well, we're on the lookout for any strays in the area. Woman got herself attacked last night just outside of town. Oh, well, this is my dog. Well, in that case, you're in violation of Deep Water's leash in town law. I am? Within the city limits of Deep Water, it is mandatory that every pet be on a leash. Also can't help but notice that he's not wearing a tag or collar. Well, yeah, I, actually, I've, I've been meaning to, um, I've been really busy, come on, okay? Please. Oh, come on. I'm sorry, Miss Baker. I have no choice but to impound your pet. Have a nice day now. At least show the man a little common courtesy by coming down and saying hello. I will not. Pastor Buddy is a very spiritual man, Leanne, and I would think you two might have a lot to talk about. Why would I break bread with someone who thinks I'm psychologically unsteady? Where do you get that? At our wedding. He married us. He has nothing but fondness and respect for you. Oh, pfft. I saw those secret little looks that he and his wife were giving each other when I was talking to them. It was like, pfft. What galaxy did he find her in? Oh, that's just you being insecure. Now, come on downstairs. No. I'm trusting my own inner equilibrium. So just being around that man makes me feel carsick. Leanne. No! What are you and he cooking up down there? You got a scheme going, Bob Gibbs? Hmm? Oh, I can't believe you'd think that. No, you can fool yourself, babe, but you know what? You can't fool me. Okay, forget dinner. A cup of tea? How long could that take? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna ask you a question, and I want the truth. And you'll get it, like always. You wouldn't do anything to harm Wanda Grace now, would you? Now, honey, how can I harm someone who's already dead? Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do now. Well, there is one thing, but it's a real long shot. What? People in Leanne's condition rarely respond to counseling. No drugs. Well, now she might respond to someone who shares her enthusiasm for the occult and uh, her belief in uh, alternate universes. You know someone? Someone I went to divinity school with. Now, uh... He went over to the Jesuits, and I understand that he was defrocked a few years back for uh, personal reasons. Oh, come on. But, but, he does have some expertise in ridding people of their demons. An exorcist? I didn't know that was a real profession. You want me to give him a call? Well, at this point, I'm ready to try just about anything. <laughs>
What the hell was that? Sounded almost human. The world gets stranger and more ungodly every day. What in the hell? but we ain't going all the way into town. We'll drop you off near the truck stop. I believe you'll take me all the way into town. I believe we'll just take you all the way into town then. I'm much obliged. You know, we got to get this radio fixed one of these days, I Bogart. Reckon so. I think it was a dog that attacked me, Sheriff. But you're not sure? Look, Mr. Val, more begonias. Well, thanks, Honey Muffin. Just sit him down over there next to the others. Big square head, yellow eyes, a bad breath. I may be heavily sedated, but I'm pretty sure it was just a dog. That god-awful creature took off two of my best fingers. How am I ever again going to hit D7 and shall we gather by the river? Miss Duvall, if you don't mind me asking, just what was it you were doing out at the Loxahatchee Motor Court bungalows? Whatever do you mean? Well, you were dressed rather, excuse me for saying so, provocatively. You know, I'm suddenly feeling a little groggy and upset, and I'm not sure I can answer any more questions right now. It's time for your medicine, Miss Duval. That's my ring. It's not. Yes, it is. I bought it special off the Home Shopping Network. Hold on a minute. What <laughs> is the problem here? It must be all the medication she's on, Cher. Like hell! This couldn't be her ring. I tell you, it's mine! My fiance, Dawson Hayes, gave it to me first thing this morning after popping the question during breakfast over at the International House of Pancakes. Dawson? That ring was on this hand! I absolutely hate it when people ask me for free legal advice, but uh, I was kind of wondering if I could ask you a question of a professional nature. You need advice about something in the psychic realm? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Ask away. Do you believe that animals can actually communicate with people? You've had a trans species telepathic exchange? Yeah. Uh, something like that, actually, with a, with a Rottweiler. Um, it's almost like he needed my help or something. Well, maybe he just needs a really good lawyer. Yeah. Maybe you got a point there. May I impose upon you with a legal question now? Oh, of course. What do you want to know? What does a person have to do to get another person committed? You mean, like, to a mental institution? Yeah, I'm afraid that is what I mean. Wow, um, it's difficult. First, you have to get power of attorney over the mentally ill person. That's uh, kind of like a contract. And then you have to present the case before a judge. A judge? judge can put a person away? Oh, yeah. Against her will? Good 
good day to you, sir. And to you. Excuse me for interrupting. I was wondering, just what the hell do you think you're doing on my front lawn hanging empty bottles all over old Tecumseh? Consecrating a spirit tree. Did my wife put you up to this? Why don't you just start taking all them bottles down right now before I have you arrested for defacing private property? Are you saying you want me to dismantle the spirit tree? In plain King's English. Before it's even had a chance to do its work? Oh, I see. You must be that Jesuit exorcist friend of Buddy Burwell. I prefer to think of myself as more pan-denominational. Well, then, I guess I must have been expecting you. I believe you were, sir, yes. Hello, you sweet thing. I know it's terrible in here, isn't it? Yes, it is. I brought you something. I did. I picked it out. Look. I don't even really like dogs. I'm much more of a cat person. Brought stuff for the rest of you. Yes, I did. Look. Picked this out especially for you. <gasps> this is where you found a wreck? Yeah. It was, like I said, in his... Uh, you know. In his... Poopy. Is there a problem here, Sheriff? Oh, I almost forgot. Miss Baker claims the dog in question belongs to her. What? This is your dog? Maybe. Yeah. Why do you ask? Because the other night or so, it seems, this dog attacked and maimed a woman. Oh, that is ridiculous. This dog wouldn't hurt a flea. Animal control officer Hayes, I would like to pay my fines and my licensing fee and take my dog back, please. I'm afraid that's no longer possible, Miss Baker. Why the hell not, Dawson? Because if this animal was responsible for the attack and maiming of a member of the Deepwater Citizenry, according to City Code 1114, following a mandatory 72-hour quarantine, he has to be scheduled for a PTS. The quarantine is up in approximately 24 hours. PTS? Put to sleep. <laughs> a mental health professional. Nevertheless, I've come for Wanda Grace. I appreciate you driving me over here and letting me run on like this. I guess attractive women like us have to stick together, huh? We sure do. I mean, we've all had man troubles. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, listen, don't let him weasel his way out of this, all right? You march right in there, and you give him hell. Okay, great. I'd like to speak with this spirit who has taken up residence inside you. Can you bring her forth? 
Well, lately, she pretty much comes and goes as she pleases. She can be rather willful. I see. May I attempt an invocation? Invoke away. All right. Let us close our eyes. And, Spirit, I call upon you to announce yourself. Now, come out with you. Announce your name. I command you. Leanne Lancaster Gibbs. No, no, that, uh, not your name, her name. Oh, <laughs> OK. My child, do you believe in the Holy Spirit? Well, I believe that the spirits of those that have passed on to the next level can cross back over if and when the need arises. Sometimes an angel of darkness masquerades himself or herself as an angel of light. Oh, no, sir. Wanda Grace hasn't got a bone of darkness in her whole disembodied body. She's pure, unadulterated goodness. She asked me to pass along a message to you. A message? For me? Yes, sir. I want to make sure that I get this right, OK? It's time you quit polluting the waters of your soul and get back to fulfilling your higher purpose. She said that? That's what she said. She also wants to know if you might want her to contact someone for you, a deceased relative, someone named Ethan. What do you know about Ethan? Not a thing. Wanda says he's fine, though, and that he'd really like to speak with you. you think you're I'm going? Sorry. You got the wrong man. How do you mean? This particular case of manifestation is more powerful than I ever anticipated. Now, damn it, Reverend. You can't just leave me in the lurch. I was counting on you. Find yourself a Catholic. Leanne needs your help. To rid her of this demon would require a fortitude and a faith, which sadly I have lost. I'll double your fee. I'll triple it. $3,000? Plus expenses. Whatever it takes. And I would have to withdraw my usual money-back guarantee. Just do it. Sheriff Hammond, what brings you to my office at this time of night? I believe you may be harboring a fugitive. Hammond. <clears throat> I am not going to give him to you, Sheriff. Listen, you don't know what that dog is capable of. He attacked a woman, chewed off two of her fingers, and from what I can tell, for no good reason. That animal is like a loaded gun. Who knows what might set him off? Well, I am very flattered that you're so concerned for my safety. But you know what? From what I hear, you have another suspect running around out there. The Okeechobee Wolfman. Mm -hmm. You brought him in for questioning? You know, I suppose there could be a half-crazed, hormonally imbalanced sideshow attraction running around out there in the glades. But I seriously doubt it. Hand over the mutt. You got an arrest warrant? No. But I am your landlord. He was a circuit rider. He used to take his boy with him out on the road, preaching the word. Don't tell me. Yep. 
One night, a piece of tar paper flew up from the blacktop right onto his windshield. He couldn't even see a thing. He crossed right over that double yellow and right into a big semi. And the boy? The hand of God. One minute, Ethan's sitting right there next to him. The next, he ain't. Poor man. He lost all his faith in the Lord. But was it his fault? Was he drinking? Oh, no, ma'am. That came after. Now, Miss Leanne, that man Cahill, he need our help. Miss Baker, I'm designating this a closed hearing to save all of us further embarrassment with regards to this little stunt of yours. Your Honor, the entire Deepwater Sheriff's Department is hell-bent on putting his dog to sleep, and I believe he's completely innocent of the charges leveled against him. Now, I don't suppose that a dog is entitled to due process, but perhaps we can give him one hearing and, and, and one chance. Boo-hoo, Counselor. I have spent time with this dog, Your Honor, and I do not believe that he's a killer. Judge, I wish I could be that sure. Now, I don't want this dog running around loose if there's a chance he could be vicious. And I don't think that's been determined yet. Look at him, Your Honor. He is not vicious. I happen to be a very good judge of canine character. So I'm going to take a look-see myself. Now, let me see your teeth, boy. Uh, yes, I can tell a lot about a criminal by looking at his chompers. Uh, well, you don't seem so tough to me. You're a big old teddy bear, aren't you? Now, his teeth reflect fine breeding with no reflection of antisocial behavior. Now, his breath is another matter, but that's beyond my scope of experience. Judge, I'd like to at least keep him under observation for a week or two. Well, as an officer of the court, I would like to volunteer to keep him with me. That's not safe. That dog should be in lockdown in the pound. I all disagree. right, all right. Back to your corners, both of you. My, my. Emotions are running high on this matter, aren't they? I'm sorry to interrupt, Big, but we're going to be late for the exorcism. Leanne. Uh, we're a little busy here, honey. Okay, but we're gonna be late. Now take a seat. I'll be right with you, honey muffin. Dawson, hold on to that animal. What the hell do you think you're doing? Judge, what did you just say? Shoot the son of a bitch. No, before that. How the hell should I know? See if you can remember and say it again. What difference does it make? I just want the damn dog shot, pronto. Please, humor me, Judge. What, before? Uh, take a seat. I'll be right with you. What was it you just called your wife? What I always call her, honey muffin. <laughs> Can you think of anyone who might want to harm you? Or who might in some way benefit from your death? Why, that's absurd. Are you absolutely sure? I'm just an organist with the community church. Why would anyone on earth want to hurt me? God Almighty, hear us in your house today. Look on this, your servant, Leanne Lancaster Gibbs, who is assaulted by the cunning of the unclean spirit, Excuse robber me, of life. Yes, my child? You know, when grief comes into our lives, we instinctively try to protect ourselves, but Grief is not an affliction. It's a long journey with a beginning, a middle, and an end. Come out and be gone with you, primeval adversary. Twister of words, thou... Somehow, you found yourself broken down on the side of the road right where that horrible accident happened. Depart from the body of this servant of the Lord. I command you... You gotta ask yourself, Reverend, is it really the spirit of Wanda Grace you're trying to expel? Or is it the demon in you? You ain't
ain't gonna be needing that no more, Mr. Preacher Man. It's time you stop punishing yourself, Reverend. I'm beginning to think this cure is a whole lot worse than the disease. Ethan? Are you okay, Lee? I'm fine. Oh. oh. Wait a minute, Honey Muffin. I can explain. Explain what? How I made wild, passionate, illicit love to you for over three years, and then you went and hired your stanky, no-good cousin Otis to sick one of his damn dogs on me? Well, guess what? I still got my trigger finger. Opal, drop the gun. You don't want to do this. Yes, I do! No, you don't. I sort of do. But again. Thank God you're here, Sheriff. Don't thank me yet. Oh, you're making a mistake, aren't you? Sorry, Reverend. I thank you and your young friend, too. Oh, it wasn't anything, really. But you're welcome from the both of us. In my opinion, Wanda Grace is a blessing. And you're all lucky to have her around. <clears throat> what am I going to do with you? Oh, you'll think of something I have. It's a beautiful night out there. It is, isn't it? Why don't you take me out for a vanilla milkshake and a walk in the park? Mm. Now, I think this time we can leave Wanda Grace behind. Yeah, I think so. Thank you for not putting him down. Paperwork for this sort of thing gets mislaid all the time. What can I tell you? <laughs> hey. Well, I gave him a good psychic cleansing and a flea bath. He's really a good dog. Just fell in with the wrong crowd, ma'am. Didn't you, honey muffin? Yeah, you did. That's all that happened. How are we gonna do with you? Well, you know how they are. She seduced me like a common harlot. She's gonna tell my wife, not to mention the whole congregation. She was gonna ruin me. Now, you tell me, what else could I do? Well, you pay for your thrills like everybody else. Then you get on with your life. I'm a spiritual leader of the community, big. I'm not even supposed to have thrills. I remember your mama, bless her heart. She'd tell me uh, before you and I were gonna leave the house, she'd say, uh, now, buddy, you watch over my Bobby. You're the good one. <laughs> oh, Winona McCluskey. Do you remember that sweet young lady? Musky McCluskey. Boobs way before her time. How could I forget? Her old man caught us buck naked, skinny dipping back at the trout farm. <laughs> I had to talk a blue street just to keep him from plugging you full of holes with his dirty arts. Yes, that's the night you learned you could preach. <laughs> yeah. Now, there's got to be a way you can cut a buddy a break. I mean, there must be a way you can just throw this whole nasty business out of court. We go back a long way. Broke a lot of rules together, too, didn't we? I mean, you got to help me, big. I can't see my way around it, buddy. You crossed the line, but we're friends. I know it. 
You're not going to help me. Nope. I'm going to try you. I'm going to convict you. And then I'm going to sentence you to the full extent of the law. But, Big. Oh, I'll come by and visit you on occasion. What are friends for? <laughs>